Hey everybody, and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue, and I'm a Hatch educator, and today we're going to talk about embroidering lettering on hats and how you can do it so easily in Hatch. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is get rid of my hoop because I really don't need to see it and it's kind of annoying. So let's go to do some lettering and I have just have a new open page here. Let's do some lettering and let's do something do digitizing made and I'm going to put easy underneath. And I'm just going to do it in a block font just to make it easier. You can, uh, the, you know, if you have ESA fonts, you can look how many I have on this computer. And this is just my studio computer. You can play around with different fonts. I'm just going to keep it just like this. And let's change the color to make it brighter. Ooh, I love that. Absolutely. Let's look at our size. And it's in millimeters, so I want to see it in inches. So I deselect everything and I go up here and I'm going to change it to US. And now I'm going to select it and I can see that it's a three, so it's four by one. And that's just about right. And I'm going to do a bad font thing and I'm going to pull it up. I want it a little bit taller and I think that's pretty good. So one and a half by four and that's a great size for a hat and I think that works out really well. The next thing I'm going to do is click on background and this brings it up and this is just for fun. You don't have to do this, but I think it's kind of cool to see. Now right now I have it on a solid color and the color inside hoop, but I don't have a hoop up so it doesn't actually matter. Now you can put custom fabric in, you can do factory fabric and change the color. It's just really nice to see, but because we're working on a hat, why don't we just change it? So let's go to factory article. Let's go to caps and let's do the front of the cap because that's what we're stitching it on. And why don't we make it, uh, you know, maybe a weird color like yellow and click OK. And now we have our hat. Let's move this over and see how this is going to look. It is kind of hard to see. It may be a bit tall but I have a big machine so I can do pretty much any size I want. You don't want the writing to go up too high. You want to have it as low as possible. If you're doing something and it stitches out quite like this, that's not right. You have to have it low. You have to have make everything fit. Now I know this is going to fit in my hoop and in my hat hoop and I know my big machine is going to stitch it. So I'm not going to worry about that. I might bring up the the size, the spacing a little bit and you can do break apart and do that. I'm just going to leave it because I know it's going to work. Now, if you send this directly to your machine, it's going to stitch out, but there's a certain thing that you need to do for hats. Because hats have the center line going down here, you really can't see it on this color, um, but there is a center line going out. When you stitch anything out on a hat, especially lettering, you want it to stitch from the center out from the center out. If you were to stitch this just regularly, it may work, but it's going to pull and things are going to be out of registration. So there's two ways you can do this to set it up to stitch out for a hat. You can do it the hard way and you can do it the hatch way. So the hard way to make it stitch from the center out would be that you do break apart for everything and rearrange the letters in your resequence. We put it under objects, so we'd break apart, I think three times, break apart for there, break apart for the words, break apart for the lettering, and manually move them, left click and drag up. And you know, that's gonna take a little bit of time. So why don't we try it the hatch way and it's super easy to do. All you have to do is go down to the advanced tab and if you can't see it, just click here and let it open up and all you have to do is change the letter sequence. So right now we have it on from left to right and that's how we normally stitch out not so for hats. This one right here center out exactly what I was talking about. Make sure your lettering is selected and then click on center out and hatch changes it everything for you. So let's go to player and let's watch. See, it's starting on, let's speed it up. It's starting on the Z 
and then it's going to go to the I and the T and one way. Let's speed it up a little bit more, but you can see it's doing exactly from the center this way, the center that way. Now, you can do letter back and forth, back and forth. It's not really necessary as long as it starts basically in the middle and stitches one way and then finishes it and it balances it out. And that is how you stitch lettering properly here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. And you could do it, like I said, the hard way by break apart and moving everything, or you can do it the easy way by just simply changing your letter sequence to center out. And it's all done for you inside Hatch. You can have your picture and you can make it look good. So that is how you do that the easy way. Thanks Hatch for making it easy. And I'll see you guys in the next video.